Get ready with me for a two hour shift of rowing while we talk hygiene on an Atlantic Ocean rowing boat. If you're new here, I'm Anna. I'm part of a team called There She Rows, training to row across the Atlantic Ocean this December. Let's start with the toilet situation. This is something I tend to deal with at the end of the shift before getting into my cabin. There isn't really much to say. It's a bucket, we call it Terence, and it lives on deck. It's tied onto the boat so that we don't lose it in the event of a capsize or a wave hitting us. And no, there is no privacy. We found that the best place for it is at the front of the boat. So if you do make eye contact with other rowers while you're using it, you generally just scream, close your eyes and get on with it. Um, but yeah, you bucket and chuck it. And we have a little grab bag that hangs on the guidelines, has our hand sanitizer and such in it. And we disinfect the bucket and have a brush for it. So, you know, that's kind of it. Um, maybe a bit gross to some people, but we make do on an ocean rowing boat. We do have two other buckets, one for washing ourselves and one for the boat slash dishes. Um, skincare is one of the top priorities on a uh, transatlantic row because you're always damp and you're sat on something. So there's a lot of friction and the salt crystals from the seawater will work to degrade your skin basically instantly if you're not really careful with it, which is why having seat pads and a microfiber to sit on, as you can see here, is super important. So yeah, that's basically the situation on the boat. It's pretty basic, maybe even a little gross to some people, but you get over it pretty fast. Um, so yeah, have any more questions about life on a 9.6 meter rowing boat with four other people living on board and rowing non-stop across an ocean? Drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them.